1036 here on the Saturday morning news. The house wine gals are looking very summery today. Yeah, it's it's outside. It's it's outside. Outside. Hey, I haven't been outside since it was still dark out, so yeah. I'm just going to trust you guys in Westlands Tower Camps. So it's, it, is, it has been beautiful the last couple of days. Got out onto a patio, had a glass of wine, felt great. But there's uh, lots of stuff to do coming up this month that you can um, involve wine in. And that's what you guys are here to talk about. The Harmony Arts Festival next week. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, it started yesterday. Michelle was there at the uh, at the wine garden that we're running this year mm -hmm. for the Harmony Arts Festival. How many people were there, Michelle? Uh, at the peak of it, someone said there probably a thousand people. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's pretty amazing. Popular park. <laughs> it's beautiful because you have, like, you're looking over the water, you have the stage with music, mm -hmm. and then you get to drink good wine and oh, eat good food. That's a perfect it's day. It's civilized. How often do you get to, to sit outside in Vancouver with a glass of wine and listen to music? Easily. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And less often these days, but now that the weather is good. So you guys also have an event coming up next week called Best of the West. It's a wine tasting and food pairing, and that's next Thursday. So tell us about that. So basically, we're going to have 10 wineries, 10 local uh, wineries, and 10 restaurants from West Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And each restaurant has been paired with a winery, and they have to create a dish to go with it. Excellent idea. Mm -hmm. And where's the Benji? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, so this is obviously in West Van mm -hmm. as well, and it's going to be on the pier at the bottom of 14th Street. So okay. completely outside as well. Wonderful. So all of the, the wineries and the restaurants will be lined up along the pier, and there'll oh, be about okay. 200 people there. There's still a few tickets left. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That sounds like a fun event. Hopefully yeah. the weather will be good for us. So these are three of the wines that mm -hmm. are being featured. Mm -hmm. So should we start with the Tantalus then? Who's yeah. paired up with Tantalus? Fresh. Oh, fresh up at the top of the yeah. hill. Yeah. Beautiful view up yeah. the fresh. Okay, so this is, uh, Tantalus is such a beautiful, um, beautiful uh, wine shop as well and tasting room. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It's definitely one of the wines where we're fully embraced, I think, uh, in British Columbia. Um, I think they've changed a lot of how Riesling is done. I think consumers often think that Riesling is sweet. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we love it, so we, we love to kind of promote that it's not always sweet. Uh, yeah, I really think that they've, they've shown us that there's great potential for Riesling in the Okanagan. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's fantastic. And we love Riesling so much, so uh, we cheers to that. Okay. So that's twenty. Three dollars, and on Thursday it's going to be paired with a foie gras tart with mm -hmm. an apple and uh, red wine marmalade and a savory sponge uh, toffee. So quite an interesting wine match there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. And what's going to be fun is that we're going to have a little ballot, and uh, you get to go around and, and look at all the food and wine pairing, mm -hmm. and you get to vote on your favorite pairing and your favorite oh, match, and you get a price that has yet to be revealed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> really need to know their wine as well. It's not just about the food, but they need to know how to make uh, both yeah. items really dance. Most yeah. of them work with the winery as well. They were in mm -hmm. communication to make sure that they had a bottle of wine, mm -hmm. trying, you know, the, the wine and making sure that it went well together. That's a really tough job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do you want that job? I do want that job. <laughs> Control for the yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Although the cooking thing has never really been my strong suit. Next up is the, are this, we're going next to yeah, Rosé? Yeah, Haywire, yeah. Haywire, Haywire Rosé. Um, so this is uh, a rosé made from a grape called Gamay. Haywire is a really new winery in the Okanagan. This is actually mm -hmm. their first vintage, the 2010. Um, it's $25 a bottle in private wine stores only. And what are we pairing with that one again? That one's uh, from Beachside Forno. And what are they making? Ceviche, ceviche yes. prawn. Prawn, prawn, ceviche, prawn, grapefruit, ceviche. Yeah. Very summery. Yeah. Prawn, grapefruit, and rosé. And yeah. again, dry rosé, so mm -hmm. rosé doesn't have to be sweet. Right? I keep forgetting about rosé, actually. Yeah. Oh. I've got some sitting in my, uh, in my little makeshift cellar. The front hall closet, really. <laughs> we drink a lot of it in the summer, and uh, we've been waiting for the sunshine to show up. But it, when it's sunny outside, yeah. it's a bit fuller than a red, a bit uh, fuller than a white, a bit lighter than a red. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it goes with all food, really. Like you know, if you have pork, chicken, tuna, salmon, salad, aperitif, I have it all. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then finally, a uh, laughing stock in the blind trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the 2009 vintage again. Like the haywire, it's available in private wine stores only. It's uh, approximately $36 a bottle. And the uh, laughing stock has been paired up with uh, Manja Ebeve, mm -hmm. which is actually doing the food at the oh, wine yeah. garden as well, oh, okay. um, making fantastic, uh, fantastic dishes. So at Best of the West, they are going to be making a pork cheek and lentil ravioli with brown butter sage nice. and a bison and fig tartare on a potato crisp. Oh, <laughs> I just don't even try because I won't get there. So. The blind 
Pinterest is a really fun one, and it they is. do a white as well. Yeah, and Pinterest. you know how it works? I do, well, explain it because I don't think the viewers know. Yeah, so it's really fun because every year uh, the winemaker decides to do a different blend. Mm -hmm. So the blend is revealed right here. So you don't so know when you buy it. You don't know when you buy what the blend is. Mm -hmm. So it's fun because you just make sure that you cut the foil right here, yeah. not the entire thing. Yeah. And then you try it and kind of play games. Okay, what do you think yeah. the blend is? And uh, and then, you know, when you take the foil, yeah. you know what exactly the blend is. And it changes every year, right. both for the white and the red. I can't remember. I think it was maybe 06. I think it was 06 uh, that I had a blind trust red and it was so good. Like, I can't remember what it was at all, but it was really good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you just have to trust the winemaker that it's going to be good, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. They do good stuff. Yeah. So, three solid BC wineries, yeah. and uh, there's going to be seven others, and uh, we're all really proud of uh, who's involved with it. Mm -hmm. I think the quality of mm -hmm. restaurants and wineries is amazing, so we're hoping that, you know, yeah. Yeah. Down. What a fun event. So, still a few tickets left, as you said. The Best of the West wine tasting and food pairing happening next Thursday, August the 4th, 7.30 to 10. 30, the pier at the foot of 14th Street in West Vancouver, all part of the Harmony Arts Festival, harmonyartsdarts.ca to buy tickets or go uh, or give them a call at 604-925-7270. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. I think Wesley wants to be an honorary house wine. <laughs> yes, yes, she's got the red dress on, just like you guys. You just need to get the logo yeah. somewhere. Sure, you could just... Sounds good. I'm in. <laughs> All right, we are featuring Nelson for our small town BC feature.